A new update with a big new pack has just released alongside many secret packs and much more. We're going to get into all of it and the meta impact I'm suspecting it to have, which should be a major one. We're going to have a $1,000 tournament qualifier today on twitch.tv slash decade. Rescue Ace is here. I'm very much excited for this. It's going to be a massive meta shakeup. Hopefully, I don't just see Snake Eyes doing well and then nothing else. So before we hop into all the good stuff, let's start off with some leaks. We have the new event, Mate and Accessories, the Dual Triangle event. We have Fusion, Synchro, and Xyz. In this event, participants will join one of three groups, each with different Forbidden Limited lists, and duels will be played between the groups. Okay, uh, I'm thinking, oh, wait, wait, okay, so it's a Fusion against Fusion, right? It's not Fusion against Synchro, Synchro against Xyz. They're having three events in one? Am I understanding this correctly? played between the groups or, or maybe they mean that uh, fusion will be able to play against the other groups like a team so you join team exceeds and you fight against synchros only and you won't ever play the mirror match maybe so if we look onto the search here extra deck popular monsters well uh link is the most popular but it's not in this event so we got a little it looks like synchro so we'll go oh, baguska team baguska team baron to floor and what is the fusion going to be? The main representative, maybe Team Dragostapelia. There you go. Those are going to be the teams. Interesting. The new dual pass will have a Chimera, the Illusion Beast wallpaper, sure, and a Link Karibo mate. There it is. That is the mate. Okay. There's the wallpaper, and we have a new icon. Uh, this is this new? Okay, I guess it's a new one. And then the new protector, Supreme King Zark. Nice mate base limiter removal mate base oh this needs to have an animation hopefully that'd be nice let's keep on going navy frame huh okay uh loca samsara's wallpaper is cool yeah all right let's look on some more stuff legacy pack update what the heck is this mystic potato this card is destroyed only by card effect no other way you can special summon a dark monster with 1500 or less from your deck in attack position except a mystic potato so it's like mystic tomato but uh potato and it has to be card effect instead of battle sure the uh, cuckoo commanded the croon activate one of these effects destroy this card draw a card discard one card then draw a card during the end phase of this turn draw one card interesting can only use one of these once per turn uh okay the Greed Jar, Flip Effects. Well, uh, the, the Princess Prediction deck I played recently, maybe I could play this in it. Apply these effects in sequence. Excavate, excavate any number of cards from the top of your deck up to the number of cards your opponent controls, and if you do, add one of them to your hand. Also send the remaining to the graveyard. Ooh, some Millen. Uh, okay, I would get some trigger effects in the graveyard. Maybe it's a Shadow tech, Shadows, Flippin'. Send monsters from your extra deck to the graveyard up to the number of monsters your opponent controls that were special summoned from the extra deck. Not, uh, hmm, I don't know about the second one. Uh, milling off your deck, that seems pretty great if you could get a flip effect off and going. Shop updates. Purely mate. <laughs> okay. Very, I, that might be a really popular one. And what would make this awesome, probably not going to happen. But if you were to enter the battle phase, like the laundry made one, it should transform. Yes nightmare magician is going to be a sleeve and it's on the shop already and lock samsara okay there it is i was reading the comment from the other thread field parts oh jar of metamorphosis okay now let's get into the meat of what is good here the selection pack all right let's go what is all this veda kala karankanum what the heck rescue ace preventer ultra rare Nightmare Magician, Chimera, we got the Lars, we got the Big Winged Burfamet, we got the Mirror Sword Knight, E Purely Nor, Alter Geist, Emergency is here. Some people were talking about Fusion Armament. I'll look at the website to see if this is even good. So I guess we'll start off with something that's uh, maybe not so well known, and we'll check out on Yu Gi Oh! Meta. Let's see. So on Yu Gi Oh! Meta right now, let's see Fusion Armament. It is no, okay. Uh, some uh, Chimera decks, okay. That, that's fine. Not popular enough to be on a deck type page, but uh, sure. How many are we using in the deck? Two? Okay, two and two. What does this do now that I see that it's actually being used in a few decks? 
reveal a fusion in your extra deck, special summon one of the fusion materials who's mentioned on that from your extra deck or graveyard, but until the end of your opponent's turn, it cannot attack, and its effects, if any, are negated. Interesting. And uh, you just wouldn't care if you just get it in the graveyard, then it's no longer negated. Sure. Nice. And uh, that's what a lot of the Chimera cards, like the Kodal and the Mirror Sword Knight, they activate in the graveyard. But uh, I'm not too familiar uh, with what's good with this. So I'll be interested to see that. What else are, are we looking at here? The Veda. What the heck is this? I don't think this is doing anything in the TCG or OCG. We'll find out. Veda is no usage whatsoever. But we type in Veda. There some, some Veda. Veda Realm Eulogy has Veda in its name somewhere. And it's being used. So what is it being used in? 4% of Monadium. Uh, barely being used. A little bit, actually. Okay, so check uh, this out, I guess. Uh, maybe you pull one, and uh, you could play it at one in a few. Uh, it's a tech choice. Sure. Let's keep on going. Now, Preventer and Emergency, that's going to be... Uh, well, we'll talk about that in a bit. That is huge, huge, huge. Lars is something that's not so well known here. The Lars is going to be used in, I believe, Dinos. Last time we were looking that up. So if you want a quick little reference for Deckless here, Virtual World, Dinos, Ogdoadic. What about OCG? Dinos, Ogdoadic, Horus, Namrulia, Dinomorphia. A bunch of decks are just tossing it in. Oh, so, okay. So here's a Dino Deckless if you want to copy that. And uh, Ogdoadic, I, I probably missed a bunch of cards for this, right? I'm not too familiar with a, what the heck? Okay. Uh, more dinos, snake eye dinos. <laughs> what are you doing to the deck? Oh no, Horus, we don't have that. So virtual world. So if you want to pick up some virtual worlds with the card, we okay, yeah, you know it does make the rank six exceeds. When this card, while this card is a material, your opponent cannot target it with monster effects. No monster effect targeting. Okay, what are some popular monster effect targeting? Target is going to be, and then we'll type in monster. So what monsters are targeting that we're going to be protected from? And by the way, when new cards are added to the website, they are added at the top of the search filter, even though they're not popular because they are not being played in any decks. And while uh, I, I think that we should fix this, I almost like it that it is in a way highlighting new cards. So uh, you tell me that maybe we should make it an official feature where at the top of the search, it's there for a little bit as a temporary highlight. Like, hey, check out these new cards that are just been announced. I don't know. You, you tell me what you're thinking about that. But anyway, uh, what is targeting that? It can't Veiler, can't target uh, Destroy a Bear in the Floor, can't Promethean Princess, that's a big one. So that does target, and you'll get around that. Can't be targeted by the Flame Burge, that's big. What else? Can't be targeted by Fenrir, okay. When your opponent activates a card or effect, you could detach two materials, or one if all of your cards and materials are Reptile and or Dinosaur, and then target one face of card your opponent controls and negate its effects until the end of this turn. So, very nice. Opponent activates a card or effect. You then chain to negate effects until the end of the turn. Target and negate. Okay, nice. So, uh, this is a good way to negate the Snake Eye Ash. And then Ash is not going to be able to use its other effect to summon a monster from the deck. So, that double negate, uh, pretty much like an impermanence with an activation timing. So, it's kind of like Hot Red Dragon Archfiend, but you, it does have an activation timing where you can't just activate it whenever. Okay, sure. What else are we looking at here in the selection pack? We have the Chimera cards in general. So there is a lot of confusion with what's going on with Chimera because the deck is played differently in the TCG and OCG. So if we control F Chimera here in the past month, we could see it's pretty much right here. And looking at the deck, they are using branded fusion. Now, the OCG is not using branded fusion, or at least the majority are not using it because they are instead playing with, with Branded Fusion at once, so they don't even want to play it. But if I look in the search, we may find some of Branded Fusion anyway, and that's probably what some people want to be looking at. If you're going to play with Branded Fusion, what will look? Well, no. Wow. None. Nope. They do not want to play this with Branded Fusion, with it limited to one. Because I've been reading in Discord, a lot of people are still going to want to play with Branded Fusion. But this is the most popular way that's most relevant for Master Duel. And yeah, that is a barrier statue there. And I know there are cards we don't have, like the Diabels and the Nightmare Apprentice. We'll just replace those cards. That's fine. Did the Master Tau, the Channer, come out? Let me see that real quick. Master T. 
Ooh, we didn't get that. Master T, Master T. Yeah. Okay, I think a lot of people are wanting that. So that is unfortunate there that you don't have that card either in addition to some others. But the Bear Statue of the Abyss play is what the deck's going to be doing. It's like a one-card combo. You have Mirror Sword Knight, and then you get a Barrier Statue in the field. No monsters can be special summoned except for Dark Monsters. So you thought that this would be a really cool fusion deck, but it sets up the Barrier Statue, so do be prepared for that to happen. I guess the good thing about it being dark is, you know, you could still summon a Bistial maybe. You want to play Bistial as a counter this, I guess. Uh, so if you draw the Bistial early, you could just stop it. If you draw the Bistial late, you could just special summon it and attack over it. Uh, that's what I'm thinking is going to be the best way to play around this. And then using Bistial against Snake Eyes, you're going to banish their Mask Arena when they use the Flame Burst or try to put it in their back row. So I, maybe this will make Bistials go up, up, up. Let's see some other stuff here. We have, uh, let's take off the search, the Makanko. And this is getting its own secret pack. It did come out. The Dance Dedicates the Heavens will pretty much be the full Makanko other cards that you need here. What's really good about this is it is definitely used. Let's look at the, uh, let's click this there. Boom, boom. I'm kind of mixed up on the tabs here. All right. Now let's see the deck it's being used in, Makanko. And let's look at some deck lists. So this is Infernoble. Look, 100% of Makanko are using it. Of course, 100% are using it. Now, TCG, I sold as banned. If we go into OCG, you get something that looks like this, which, uh, you know, they're still not playing I sold. Okay, you know, the Infernoble version is using that. Otherwise, not so much. They have Snatch Steel, though. Nice equip card, get snatching. Okay, nice. And uh, this could be some extra burn damage. Burn for 5, oh, 1,000, maybe even 1,500 damage to finish them off. And let's see a deck list here. We have some regionals. Here's a YCS one. Uh, back down here. Okay. So there you go. Screenshot this. This is with I sold. So I sold. Get I sold in. Very nice. Why is the OCG not using I sold? They don't like I sold, I guess. I sold. Uh, maybe a few of them. One. One mad lad is I sold in. And there you go. So some ideas for your deck if you want to be playing that. And let's see. Some more other changes here emergency and rescue ace let's just get this out of the way a lot of people are saying oh you know i don't think this is going to be the new best deck i i don't honestly don't know i think that it has potential to be the best deck because it is newly restricted in the ocg and tcg not the emergency itself but the airlifter is limited to one in tcg and it was so closely limited before the release of the new snake eye cards and it, you would think that with TCG, they have a history of, for example, they didn't touch Branded Fusion. It's unlimited. No touch on Branded Fusion. Very powerful card. How about the Adventurer cards? TCG did not touch the Adventurer cards. Fully unlimited. And you have OCG banning Wandering Griffin Rider. And then you have cards also like Fenrir. Fenrir, fully unlimited in the TCG. So you have TCG where they are not hitting so many cards that are hit in Mastodol and OCG, but they made sure to hit Rescue Ace. If we were to look at uh, real quick Rescue Ace, you could see here the airlifter limited to one. So I don't understand this argument that this is definitely a worse deck than Snake Eyes because uh, it being limited is similar to some other bad card being limited in the past. I mean, this is a really recent hit with potentially under a new mindset. Like I've been showing you all the other cards that have not been hit. And if we were to look at this, it, this is unprecedented right now for Master Duel, for Rescue Ace to be at its full power alongside the full power Snake Eyes. So if we were to go to the custom dates, Diablo Star came out about in uh, October. So I'm going to go all the way back to October 20th i'm setting that and then i'm going to be setting it you can't see it on my window capture here and then i'm going to set before the the hit so december 31st that is before rescue ace got hit and let's boom rescue ace super top deck super dominant and should carry on over to ocg here yeah super dominant in the ocg super dominant in the tcg if we do tier three events only there weren't that many tier three events but between these months. Uh, yeah, there really wasn't. But uh, overall, you know, there's this is a situation. It's something. I, I think that this has real potential to be incredible in Master Duel, potentially overtaking Snake Eyes or maybe being used alongside it. Because uh, I was looking, look, they're all playing Poplar right now in the deck. 
The problem is they had the lifter at one. So if lifter's at three in Mastodol and you want to play your deck like this with Bonfire, Poplar, uh, you know, are they playing with Snake Eye Ash? Any of them? Let me see. Snake Eye Ash. Snake Eye Ash. Ooh, we got a top 32 with Snake Eye Ash. A 60 card deck. A chonky deck. Oh my gosh. If you want to play Snake Eye with Rescue Ace, it's looking like this. Very nice. Okay, there's the extra deck. There's the main deck. Now, the biggest thing with Rescue Ace is we don't have the Little Knight. And you could be thinking that, wait, Little Knight is good in every single deck. It's one of the most used cards in TCG. Yes, but some decks, it affects more than the others. Little Knight is a really good way to protect your Turbulence from being negated by cards like Impermanence or Veiler. You can't ash the Turbulence, so you're pretty reliant on being able to target it to negate it. Now, what Little Knight would do is if you would wait for the Turbulence to activate, which a lot of people, you know, they're going back and forth. Do we wait for Turbulence to activate? Well, of course, with Little Knight on the field, you can't do that. You're going to have to imperm early because if it activates, then you chain impermanence. The Little Knight's going to then chain banish the Turbulence off the field, dodging your disruption, and then plus four. It sets four back row cards, and it really pops off. If you're going to be playing against this deck, just know that your main thing to do against this deck is stop the turbulence but if you have ash blossom it doesn't even work against the turbulence so you could ash something else it, the emergency kind of works like the little knight in that sense where it's going to help you dodge disruption and early on in the ocg i don't know if this this strategy has moved away from that i'm gonna have to look at how they're playing it recently they would make moo dragon moo dragon before little knight is, is what i remember how people were playing the deck because you would then declare fire with moo dragon and then the Turbulence cannot be targeted for the rest of the turn. Now, something similar to Moo Dragon that Master Duel has only is the Sprite Elf. Elf is back at it again. If we could summon Elf first, then whip out the Turbulence. I mean, they're holding on to their Veiler and their Imperm, right? They're not going to use it on anything else. So that should help you make an easy Elf and then summon that Turbulence right under it. It's untargetable. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You are untargetable, and you got your full play, and you're going to win. So e either between Moo Dragon or Elf, I'm going to be interested in how that works out. Switching on over OCG, they did pretty much phase that out. If I type in Moo Dragon here for maybe some ways we could have ideas and to play, to, to play the deck for us, our version, without the Little Knight. Still playing Little Knight in this version. Wait, okay, they're playing Moo Dragon because of Super Poly. That does not count. Super Poly... For Super Poly, okay, uh, we would have to filter, th this is interesting, Super Poly, how do you play Super Poly? Super Poly, Super Poly, uh, why am I not able to spell Super Poly? Super, Super Poly, so, oh, it's separate, okay. Super Poly, whoops, and we're gonna get to the bottom of this. So we want Super Poly to equal less than zero, less than one that is, less than one Super Poly, and they play Moo Dragon. So we want to add another filter. Moo Dragon. All right. It's going to equal equal or more, right? The equal one or more Moo Dragon. And let's see. So this is there. Oh, nice little filter search we got there, huh? So without Super Paul, oh, it is in the side deck, though. Uh, you know, it is filtering out of the main deck. So uh, maybe that doesn't count. I'm looking. There you go. Proxy F Magician. That's what I'm looking for. This is no Super Poly in the main or side deck. And this is how they're making the Moo Dragon. So do expect some plays like this uh, before. Well, even with Little Knight there, this is going to be able to fusion summon, make that Moo Dragon and make yourself untargetable. But as I said, maybe we are making Sprite Elf instead. So uh, very cool. Very nice thing we did there. Some of them have this one has no Super Poly whatsoever. And what about this one? No Super Poly whatsoever, not in the side, not in the main. We got that Moo Dragon play with the Proxy F. So maybe that's going to be the way I'm interested in today's tournament. That's going to be a big one. Now let's hop on over to some other changes here. Let me click some tabs off. All right, we have what else is coming? We talked about Chimera. We talked about Rescue Ace maybe being the new best deck going into today's tournament. Altergeist, unfortunately just uh, did not do anything in the TCG nor OCG after the new cards. I, I don't understand. I mean, they actually have a regional top. 
So we click on the Mully Seek. We can get to the Altergeist deck type here. A, a few, you no YCS. So uh, to be fair, it, it hasn't done completely nothing. Skill Drain at three. Oh my gosh. And what about the OCG decklist here? Even with limited to one skill drain, the deck still did uh, quite well in a tournament. So something like this you could copy. Otherwise, uh, hey, no skill drain in this build at all. So Merida from uh, 150 player regional. This is looking pretty interesting. Playing the ledger book. <laughs> I don't know about ledger book playing, but uh, there you go. So there's the extra. There is the main. This is a deck that I won a tournament with. So I got to brush back up on my Alter Guy skills with the new cards and uh, get excited for that. Now, we have what else here? We have the E Purely Nor. This is another potential big meta contender. The E Purely Nor situation with trying to do the tier list uh, manipulation to, for the dates on where it was relevant, it can be quite difficult because they've been hit over, I think, three different ban lists. It was like... June, July, I believe, of 2023, if I were to click on that. So we have July. And then I think up until maybe October is when it got hit again, even. Oh, let's do that. Let's type in October. Boom. I, I mean, I could actually just check on the Forbidden Limited list here of when the ban lists were the September 24th ban list. So we'll switch that to September 24th, and then we're going to see if Purely was dominating. So September 24th, uh, yep, something, it was for the October 1st, though. So we'll do the end of the month, and let's click searching. Purely, top three, top three deck. So not only Rescue Ace between the parameters we had for Rescue Ace was really good, but purely up there in a cash tier of full power meta. And Unchained is not meta in Master Duel. It's not, uh, it is tier three on our tier list, but it's not this prominent. It's not doing as well as it did in the TCG. So you wipe away these two, that's purely at the top. But, you know, we have Snake Eyes where that also didn't exist. If we do the same parameter to OCG, it's going to be a bit wild probably because it is, oh, top two. There you go. Even with Rescue Ace being in the meta. So don't count out purely either for being a really good deck with the release of the E Purely Nor. I'm a big fan of Purely. I played a lot of it on dueling books. I was playing some live duels, live, uh, no automated ruling nonsense, playing a lot of mad lads on dueling book and did very well at the deck because I wanted to get ready for its release in October. But then, you know, this card itself didn't come out. But when I was playing on dueling book, I, I had E purely nor. I had to use it and abuse it. So we're setting turn one purely leaps from the deck as our main play with this card. So I got to now whip that out in Master Duel. And I, I know a lot of you are saying, where is your gameplay videos? Um, I'm thinking a lot more about wanting to record more stuff about that. So maybe for some of these decks, I'll be excited to do that. And uh, maybe we'll do that. And oh, whoa, your Sarctic. Also sneaking into the pack. I did announce that this is also coming out. Besides your Sarctic, what the heck? Uh, Grenosaurus Giga Cannon. That looks pretty interesting. What is the other deck type? Oh, yeah, the Vsauce Samsara. Uh, sneaking in at Super Rare. That's nice to see. Well... The Ursarctic Polar Star, I think this is actually something we have no info on whatsoever. Uh, yeah, nothing. Not, not even a local tournament, not a regional, nothing, unfortunately. Uh, released quite a bit ago, but, it, you know, that is the situation with Ursarctic. But what about the Samsara? I think we're pretty much not waiting for any more stuff for Monadium, because this is the Monadium support. Click on OCG, It is uh, even a little bit in Tri-Brigade. Wait, I got to see the Tri-Brigade deck. What? Tri-Brigade Samsara? A Hero Lives? This is an uh, interesting deck. Okay, uh, uh, Vsauce, Scareclaw, Tri-Brigade. Okay. Uh, back to this, though. Vsauce Samsara, TCG Stats. They're loving it at three to two. They love it. But in OCG, they're not, okay, you know, the majority are not playing it, but it's back and forth because that's the thing with Max C. It is limiting deck diversity a bit here. And the Samsara is another Vsauce. Vsauce Starfrost that special summons onto the field. Great. So that's nice. It also counts as a Vsauce Starfrost while in the graveyard. And, and you know, so there's synergy with the Vicious Astralaud. This needs to banish a Vsauce Starfrost or the 1500 slash 2100 uh, uh, stat value, which it meets both. So that's great. Works out great. Very nice. 
And I think that is it for the pack. I'm rambling a bit, a uh, bit out of order in my mind because uh, it is really late and I am just excited for today's stream. So I'll make sure to see you on today's stream. I should, uh, yeah, I, I don't know if I want to promise a leak for it because I'm waiting on some other confirmation on something. I do think I will at least leak what's not coming in the May pack, at least, at minimum. And uh, if my source comes through with some extra confirmations on something I'm not so sure on, then maybe I'll leak an additional thing for the stream. Otherwise, I'm going to drop the nuclear leak on the stream after this. It's going to be a massive one. It is going to be, I believe, on April, the, the, the Sunday after that Sunday. That's not the direct Sunday. Does that make sense? So not this Sunday. The one after that Sunday, Sunday, the 28th, mark your calendar or no, the 21st, my bad, my bad. The 21st, the 21st, mark your calendar. That's going to nuclear launch leak. Oh my gosh. It's going to be great. So look forward to that. And I will see you on today's stream. So thank you all. We are out.